There we go folks, it's my review of the Winmo Feebolt Trico, obviously a French player, number one French player I'm pretty sure, if I'm wrong remind, let me know in the comment section because I'm not much of a follower in terms of the international side of darts and the WDF side, but 23 gram available, the only weight they're available in I should say, and it's a very old fashioned knurled grip like you will see better in the close up section at the rear and the front section. The middle band is completely smooth with exception to the Winmore logo and a couple of rings that do not benefit the grip style of this dart. They're $39.95 from all good retailers and for me that is a pretty cracking price for what these are. But without further ado, let's crack on with the review. Here we go folks, close up look to the Winmore Feeble Trico 90% tungsten darts. And 23 gram only, unfortunately, by manufactured by Winmore, as you can see with the Winmore logo that you can't quite see, <laughs> so I'll show you in the close up. It is very similar to the old Harrow's Magnum darts or the anniversary Magnums, if so to speak. These are 23 gram, as I said, and not very grippy for a normal dart. So I'm going to take these two away just now. And as you can see, the main parts of the grip. Are that knurled front section where you can see the three rings of knurled grip and it's the exact same at the rear and the one more logo in the middle of the dart now i do like the colors of have picked for these the red white and blue but that is not for the reasons i picked i would have picked them it's actually because free boat trico is a french player i believe he's number one in the french player list come supplied with the pro force stems and shot and the one more alpha flights in red white and blue kind of coincide with the darts themselves. Now the length from here where the point meets the barrel to here where the stem meets the barrel is 48.3 millimeters so quite a short dart at the same time it's kind of average in terms of the length and the width at the widest point considering this is a straight barrel is 6.6 millimeters so the darts are going to be more suited to a rear or a front gripper. Middle grippers, you've got that smooth section right in the middle of the dart, unfortunately. You can get these from most retailers. I recommend Premier Darts or Red Dragon, personally, for any one more products. I'd say Premier Darts over Red Dragon, simply because you can use my discount code, SLDC5, save yourself 5%. But I've given you all the necessary information on the one more Fipo Trico. Let's get them over to the board, and we'll see how I got on with them. Right folks, here we go on the front section for the Feeble Trico and 23 gram. I'm going to do a few from the rear, a few from the middle and a few from the front. Without further ado, crack open. Now, obviously, with that, the two number section being the main parts of the grip, you're always going to get a consistent grip if you grip in the rear or the front of the, bar, the dart. Middle section, you've got no grip at all, unfortunately. But doesn't necessarily mean this is a bad dart. The only thing I will say is the grip, the Nurl grip is quite slippy, it's not like the grippy aggressive Nurl you used to get, it is quite smooth. I'm going to do a couple of visits from the middle. Now bearing in mind the middle grip has no grip whatsoever, it is completely smooth, as you can see in there, completely smooth, minus those painted rings which doesn't really add much in feels of the grip. We'll do one more visit in the middle. Aye, we'll do a couple of visits with the grip, front grip. Balance wise, these are pretty much spot on as a straight barrel dart, so the 
balances evenly spread through it out. The only thing is the grip lets it down, in my opinion. That looks about right for a front gripping kind of thrown from me. We'll do one more and then we'll get some bills. I'd say that's alright for a front grip, pal. There's a rear gripper using the front grip. But we'll try and get three in the bullseye and we'll get wrapped up. First and second, well, no bad thrown deals, but this last one was weak. But as you see, 1 in 25. Let's go get wrapped up. There we have it folks, that was my review of the one more Feeble Trico and 23 gram. It's a nice start if you want that consistent place to grip, I mean for me as a rear gripper that is very very consistent, I'm always going to know where to grip. The only other thing is, is the knurl is not very aggressive. A lot of people like a very very aggressive knurled grip if you like the knurled dart, this just isn't it. It's the same as the front, it's just not there. In terms of the grip, the grip level overall for me in a scale of 1 to 5 is a level 2.5 and, and that's simply because even when your fingers heat up to it, it's still quite a slippy, knurled grip. Come supplied with the Pro Force stems, this is actually my third set of the stems on these before I've actually reviewed that because I kept breaking the stems. And the flights, can't go wrong with one more flights, I've always found they are very very durable and quite cheap, cheap to replace as well in comparison to some other manufacturers. But let me know what you think of the Feeble Trico in the comments section. A lot of people are going to say they're very old fashioned. I tend to agree because Nurlin is old fashioned, but it works for a lot, a lot of players. Look at Robert Fulton as an example. He has consistently used a Nurl dart and look how well he plays. But let me know what you think of them in the comments section. Stay safe out there. And of course, keep on darting.